and so on so on. So this is uh, called node MCU. This node MCU has uh, 30 pins. So here we have 15 pin and here also we have uh, 15 pin. It's a 32 bit uh, uh, microcontroller. And uh, this microcontroller is ESP8266. This is the microcontroller, which is called ESP8266 microcontroller. It has the Wi-Fi enabled with it. So here we have the facility of Wi-Fi. It means that this particular node will act uh, as, a, as a sensor node. And this particular sensor node has the capability of uh, connecting to the internet. So there are many microcontroller like node MCU, which doesn't have the facility of uh, Wi-Fi enabling to it. We have to put a uh, Wi-Fi module uh, separately to the, uh, uh, to the Arduino Uno board. But here with this, we have the facility and you can see here, uh, it is using 802.11 B, G and N version of uh, local area network, right? So it is, it is very easy to actually uh, connect this particular device to, the, to any access point. So like in your mobile phone also, when we'll uh, on the hotspot. So after that, we can connect this particular device to the mobile also. Now let's go to the pin. So we have, as I told you, we have uh, uh, almost 30 pins are there here and pins have different uh, name and different purposes. Uh, so if you'll see here, uh, generally, uh, we'll use all those GPIO pin that is called general purpose input output pin. Here in this, it is written uh, D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, up to that. So we have up to D4 here. This is D1, sorry, D0, D1, D2, D3, D4. So there are five pins. And these five pin are having the name GPIO 16, GPIO 5, GPIO 4, GPIO 0, and GPIO 2. So it is an internal architecture they have given the name. And externally they have put at these uh, numbers to it. After that, we have uh, the voltage pin, which we provide to the sensor. So if we have any shot of sensor with us, generally it has three pins, okay? So one pin is the voltage, another pin is for the ground, and another pin is there, which is called data pin. This particular data pin, from that only will collect the data of this particular sensor. Sir, so, sorry to interrupt. Sir, uh, sorry to interrupt. So participants are putting some questions and requesting participants as it is a hands-on session. So you can ask question on the go only. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. That I want to tell you that uh, it is a uh, interactive session. Sir, who, yeah. Exactly. Sir, which is the pin one? After the, it is a 13 pin. Uh, pin one is from left or right now? Where we start? Okay. DC okay. zero one is the pin one. Okay. So, if you see this particular uh, microcontroller, uh, let me. Okay, so yeah. So now, if you'll see this particular microcontroller, this microcontroller has uh, uh, has two way, right? So we we can we can put it like this, right? Or we can put it like this. So in the diagram, it is like this, right? So it is up up to you that which one you are taking as a pin number, uh, you're starting with pin number one or which one is the last pin that you are taking. So I, I am taking like this. It means that there is uh, the, the portion where we'll give the input. And here, this is a microcontroller that is had, it is a ESP8266 microcontroller, okay? 
so let's go to the diagram and try to understand see we doesn't have to bother about from where we are starting we just have to uh, learn right uh, from so what i am telling you is the name is written to it so in this particular microcontroller you will find out the name when you when you see the microcontroller in this way so from the right hand side you will find out uh, the d0 d1 d2 d3 so we'll start from here okay and then we'll go from here to here so you can see we have different general purpose input output pin these general purpose input output pin is having uh, the functionality like we can connect any sensor to it as well as we can connect any actuator to it means from this pin we can uh, take the data as well as we can give the signal so we'll generally give the signal to the actuator to move and we generally uh, what we do is we generally take the data from the sensors right so that's why it is we can do the input as well as we can um, uh, do the output for that now uh, as i told you uh, we are starting from this side so either you can go uh, you can go and uh, uh, follow this particular uh, number which is written here or you can follow the number which is which is listed here right it is not like the gpu is starting from here as a one so we'll start from here right so it is up to you from where you are starting it is an internal architecture that is written so d0 is named as gpu pin 16 and then d1 5 d2 4 d3 0 so you can see that there is uh, uh, nothing like we'll start with zero and we start with one then d4 is two so I request all of you, if you have any uh, doubt, you can uh, just unmute yourself and you can ask the question at that particular time. Now, after that, um, we have the voltage pin, as I told you, this particular voltage pin, generally every sensor, uh, every digital sensor nowadays uh, will require only 3.3 voltage for turn it on. So if you want to on any sensor, so we required only 3.3 voltage it is enough for that then we have a ground pin right so so both we have to connect so here we'll connect 3.3 uh, voltage and here we'll connect the ground pin so two pin is required for every sensor as well as actuator so actual actuator is also required external energy right and then it, it required a, a type of signal uh, to it so either we'll give the signal like uh, um, some sort of voltage or will give it like zero voltage so in that way it will turn on and off right in that way it will move uh, up or down or it will rotate itself if it is a motor a servo motor in that regard now after that we have d5 this is d5 then d4 sorry d6 d7 d8 so all our other four uh, pins are there up to d8 the name is gpio pin 14 12 13 15 and then we have rx and tx pin that is also work as a general purpose uh, uh, input output pin but it is dedicated for serial input and output so we can uh, this is a tx means we can do the data transaction from here if we want uh, a data transaction let's say if we want to connect a, a bluetooth device here so we have to connect the bluetooth device here with the tx and rx pin where tx pin is for the transmission of data and rx pin is for uh, receiving the data okay now after that again we have two pin which is a, a one is a ground pin another is a 3.3 voltage pin it is also written in the board also now come to the left part of this uh, microcontroller so you'll find out this is written a0 this is written a0 a0 so you can see here all these gpio pin is for digital sensor so if we have some sort of analog sensor 
we have only one pin associated and this particular microcontroller has given only one pin if you want to connect more than one uh, analog sensors to your microcontroller so you have to attach a uh, node uh, uh, along with the node mcu you have to attach arduino uno also so in the arduino uno board you will find many analog to this uh, sorry uh, many uh, this uh, analog uh, sensors okay uh, then we have to reserve pin that is reserved for uh, different general purpose then again we have two gpio pin which is uh, written here let me read it out what is written here is s3 and s2 and s1 so we have s3 s2 and s1 which is from here to here sd1 sd2 sd3 it is written well, uh, two of them are general purpose input output pin and then from here to here if we have some serial communication interface so for that we can use all these four pin that is m o s i master out uh, serial in something uh, or slave in sorry master out out uh, slave in then we have uh, uh, cs for control signal then we have m i s o master in slave out and then we have a uh, clock that is a serial clock that has been used for the uh, serial interface then we have again ground and voltage pin then we have uh, uh, two another pin which is enabling and for the reset and then we have a ground pin and this pin is for input the voltage so if you want to give the input to this particular microcontroller with this pin also we can give the input so generally this particular microcontroller is required 3.3 voltage for functioning so if we want to give uh, we want to uh, function this particular microcontroller we have to give 3.3 voltage uh, not more than that otherwise the circuitry will be burn up then we have to sir, uh, yes sir minimum yes. how much voltage you can minimum 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 voltage yeah it will, it will vary from 3.5 voltage to 3 voltage okay means see uh, you don't have to give the external power uh, from the power supply you have to give the uh, power to this particular microcontroller either from your usb port of your uh, laptop or because it is it is not much of voltage it is around 3 voltage or 3.5 voltage is the output for that a uh, maximum 2 ampere and uh either you will use the battery so you can use the battery to power it so that there will be no uh, not uh, much voltage has to be given and the fluctuation is also less now uh, you will see here we have uh, two buttons push button this is the reset button and this is the flash button flash button is for uh, flashing or programming or giving the program into the microcontroller and reset what reset will do is uh, so once we click the reset button all the gpu pin will be reset to its previous position so in the program we set the G, all the gpu gpio pins but when we click the reset button the gpio pin will go into their previous state so, so whenever we stuck in some um, program or if it is not working as we required we just put the reset button flash button generally we do not use because we give the uh, we can uh, uh, upload the program through this this port that is a mini usb port so mini usb port has been given here so let's i'll show you the microcontroller right now so this one is the microcontroller and if you'll see here it it will be same as what i have shown you so here this particular part 
uh, this particular part you can say this is your uh, mini USB port that uh, in which we can connect. It is this port is just like your uh, Android phone charger, right? So where we'll put the charge charger to it, and uh, it is it is like that one. Okay, let's go to the sensor that we are using today. So this is the sensor that we are using. That particular sensor is called, a very simple sensor is there, that is called a DHT sensor, okay? This particular DHT sensor has, you can see three pin, as I told you in the diagram also. So generally sensor uh, is having four pin or three pin sensor. So generally we have three pin sensor. And uh, if we have a four pin sensor, so one pin is uh, of uh, different purposes, we'll not use that. Generally we use, one will use for the voltage, another will use for the uh, ground pin and then we'll use for the data pin. So if I'll show you, there, there are three pin and the pin number, the pin is also written. So the first one you can see from the, from the right side, it is written VCC and the middle one is data and the last one is the ground one, which is near to the LED. So near to the LED, which is a pin near to the LED, which is a uh, ground pin and then data pin. And then we have VCC pin that is for the voltage purpose. Okay. So I'll show you in the diagram also. Sir, I have a question. That class memory is a memory type. Is it that or what is that class? Class previously what I have said, RST and class. That is restart. RST means restart uh, and class means there is memory. Am this right? one. Okay, restart. RST. RST for restart means all the pin that we have uh, uh, given the different purposes that will be. Uh, reset that is not restart that is a reset pin that will reset all the pin to the previous state now there is a flash flash button flash button is the button for putting the program into the into the microcontroller so ultimately this microcontroller will work in a program right so we have to write a program and we have to flush the program inside the microcontroller then only it will do the functionality yes so this flush is for that generally we do not use it instead we'll use this uh, mini usb pin to flashing the or to uh, uploading the program into the microcontroller okay